What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Katie and on today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. So we are going to be doing a transfer Tuesday video. I have never done these on my channel before but since it's the last quarter of the year I really really want to hit all of our goals really hard to make sure that we can achieve everything that we set out to achieve at the beginning of this year. So if you are unfamiliar with Transfer Tuesday videos, I believe these were coined by Mary at Penny's Not Perfection. And I've just recently found her channel and I love her, she's amazing. I actually first heard of Transfer Tuesday videos from Layla at Personal Finance with Layla, but she credited Mary for the idea and a lot of other people that I've seen since then have also credited Mary for the idea. So although she was not the first person that I saw doing Transfer Tuesdays, that's where most people say that the idea came from. So I'm gonna go with that. And I will link both Mary and Layla's channels down below. They're amazing. They're both um, very big channels compared to mine, but they um, definitely deserve it because they do a lot of awesome content. Um, Layla does a lot of investing and debt payoff. She recently just became debt free. So I'm very inspired by that. And Mary has been doing debt payoff videos as well as investing. And I believe they're saving for a down payment on a new house. So they're both awesome channels. If you don't already know them, I'm sure you do though. Cause like I said, they're huge channels compared to mine, but that is where the idea for this video came from. So I hope you guys like my little spooky fall vibes that we have going on back there. Um, you can only see a little bit of our Halloween decorations, but we love Halloween. We love to decorate for Halloween inside and outside. Then I've got my flannel here for fall. So it's just very fall vibes around here. And I kind of like it. I'm definitely a summer person. I love summer so much, but I think that's because, you know, we homeschool and we get a break in the summer and then my kids are home with me, but I don't have to do school with them. So we can just kind of enjoy time together. So I think that's why I love summer so much, but I am enjoying fall more and more as I get older. So I love all of the seasons except for winter. Like I don't like super cold weather. So anything but winter I am cool with. So let's go ahead and talk about the transfers that we are doing this week to make some progress towards our financial goals. So just to be clear, I am not technically transferring all of these things on Tuesday. You're just seeing the video on Tuesday. Um, I'm making the transfers in the first week of October though. And everything that we're doing in the first week of October, we will talk about today. And then anything we do in the second week of October, we will hit next week and so on, just so you guys kind of know how I'm doing this. So the first thing that we are paying in October is my husband's SoFi loan. So he recently refinanced a couple of his student loans to SoFi so that we could save some money on interest. So we are only paying the minimum payments on the SoFi loan right now because we are currently trying to pay off a different loan that's still under the federal student loan system. So for his minimum payment for these SoFi loans, it's $922. So we did pay that already in the first week of October. So it's always due early in the month. So this will be something that we pay every single month and um, it's just a minimum payment. But I want to emphasize that sometimes paying just the minimum payment if that is all you can do, that is a huge accomplishment. There are so many people out there who are struggling just to make their minimum payments. So if all you can do is make your minimum payment without adding on extra debt, you are still gonna make progress. And um, especially with us, we're just making the minimum payment, but since we just lowered our interest rate, we're making more progress now than we would have if we would have kept that um, with the higher interest rate that we had at FedLoan. So we're making huge progress on this loan, even though we're just making the minimum payment. So I don't know the exact balances yet because the loan hasn't cleared. So if you wanna catch like how much actually went to principal and see how much we owe on that loan, then you can check my, I guess it won't be until November where I do my November debt update video, but I always tell you guys like how much we owe on each of our debts in those videos. So stay tuned for that. The other big goal we're working on right now is getting our emergency fund up to Right now we're working on a three month emergency fund, but the ultimate goal is to have at least six months saved of our expenses into an emergency fund. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy over that, whether you should have just $1,000 in an emergency fund or a small emergency fund while you're paying off debt and then grow it after. I personally don't feel comfortable doing that because we are a single income household. So my husband is the only one who makes a regular income and I stay home to homeschool my boys. So if something were to happen to his job or to him, 
um, we would definitely be in a very bad place without an emergency fund. So that's why I personally like to have a bigger emergency fund rather than a smaller one. And we are still trying to build that up right now while we're paying off debt. So I did transfer $200 into our emergency fund. We have that sitting in a high yield savings account with um, a capital one. So we earn interest on that. I believe it's at like 4.5% right now. I could be wrong on that, but it's somewhere around there that we're earning um, on any money that we put in that account. So we have our emergency funding fund sitting in there as well as a couple of other funds that we're not gonna use for a while. I do like to put as much money as possible into that high yield savings account so that it can earn interest every month. And it's been amazing. I think we started that account last November and soon I'm going to calculate all the money we've made off of that account like over the first year. I guess I'll have to do that at the end of this month because it'll be 12 months now. So I would love to share that with you guys just so you can see like how amazing it is to have money in a high yield savings account because it literally just sits there and grows without you doing anything and you're earning interest. So that's why we like to keep our emergency fund in an account like that. And some of our sinking funds are sitting there as well. And with um, a high yield savings account, it's usually pretty easy to transfer your money in and out. Like it only takes a couple of days to get that money from my high yield savings account to my regular checking account if I need it. Um, I definitely wouldn't put your main emergency fund in like a CD or anything like that. Um, I, I love CDs. I actually would love to start a CD ladder like Jesse from Debt Free Jesse has. Um, and I would love to earn that interest because you usually get a little bit higher interest rates on the CDs than you do on um, a high yield savings account. But um, since we don't have our emergency fund fully funded yet, I'm gonna wait until we have it fully funded and then I'm gonna do CDs to get that extra interest. So just be careful um, with doing that though because if your money's tied up in a CD, you can't access it right away. So make sure your main emergency fund is in an account that you can access right away and then you can do extra savings into things like CDs. So. So the third transfer that we are making this week is to put $150 into my investing account. So I do my investing through a brokerage account. It's with E-Trade and it's technically investing that I'm gonna use for retirement. I'm not planning to touch that until Mark retires and it will give us some supplemental income. I'm sorry, the cats are up. I'm sitting like below the stairs. There's like a balcony. Um, and the cats are like running across there and fighting. So I'm sorry if you can hear them, but um, what was I saying? So I invested $150 into E-Trade and I do that through a brokerage account because I am not eligible to invest in a Roth IRA. That would be um, the first choice I would make if I could do that, but we cannot do that because of our income. So I used to invest in a Roth IRA for a very short period of time. And then um, I realized that we were gonna surpass the income threshold that you um, are allowed to invest in, an, in a Roth IRA. So I had to stop doing that. And now I put all of my retirement savings into a brokerage account. So I call it retirement savings, even though it's not technically in a retirement account, it's in a brokerage account. So I know that there's a way to do a backdoor Roth um, account for people who do make above the max for a Roth IRA, but I don't know fully how to do that yet or how complicated it is. I keep saying I need to research it and it's just something that I have not done yet. So I really need to take the time to do that because I do think there's advantages to doing that versus investing in a brokerage account. So I'm not sure. Right now I'm happy investing in the brokerage account because I do have traditional retirement accounts from when I did have a job and Mark has traditional retirement accounts as well. So this is kind of just extra money that we're investing, um, but it's nice because there's no limitations on it. Like I can put as much money in there as I want to and let it sit there as long as I want to, or I could take it out when I want to. I mean, obviously you have to pay taxes on whatever you make, but there's no penalty for me taking it out because it's a brokerage fund and not a retirement fund. So that's why I kind of like it. So if we ever had like an emergency situation where we would have to pull from that money, then we could without a huge penalty, but that's definitely not why I'm investing in it. That's not my plan. Um, but I just wanted to point that out that there are some advantages to investing in a brokerage account rather than, um, a traditional retirement account or a Roth account, but I don't get any tax advantages on it. So that's a bummer. But those are the three transfers we made this week. So we paid off some debt, we did some savings and we did some investing. So those are like our three main financial goals. So I'm really happy when we can do any of those three things. So it's really cool that we got to do all three of those things in the first week of October. So next week, I will try to meet you back here for another Transfer Tuesday video so you can see what other transfers we make 
next week. So let me know if you guys like these type of videos. I really wanna make content that you guys enjoy and that is helpful for you. These videos are actually going to be taking the place of my savings challenge videos. I have decided that I'm not gonna be doing savings challenge videos anymore, at least for the time being. I'm still gonna be doing savings challenges because I honestly have so much fun with them. I love using them. I think they're a blast and it's really fun to use them and like kind of, it's kind of like a game to like track the way you're saving. So I'm definitely gonna keep using them and you guys will see them like, um, maybe if I have um, a savings challenge that I finish and it's going to debt, like you'll see them in this video, I'll pop it up and say, hey, I finished a savings challenge and now I'm putting it towards debt and that's where I got this money from. So you guys will still hear about my savings challenges and um, in these videos and in my sinking fund videos because I definitely do a lot of savings challenges that I put into my sinking fund. So you guys will still hear about them. I'm still gonna be doing them. I just don't think I'm gonna make dedicated savings challenge videos for right now, we'll see how it goes. But honestly, the reason why I'm doing this is because they just don't perform very well for me. I know a lot of people do really, really well with saving challenges, but I think my audience on YouTube is mainly from like the digital budgeting community. And um, you guys like the spreadsheets, you guys like the net worth videos, you like the budgeting videos but you're not a fan of the savings challenge videos with the cash. And I totally get that because the first time I saw savings challenge videos with cash, I thought it was the weirdest freaking thing. And I was like, what are these people doing? So it's like definitely not like a normal thing that people do unless they're like, you know, really into budgeting and cash budgeting. So I can understand why people don't like them um, on my channel. Now, like I said, I know some people's um, savings challenge videos are like the best videos that they have on their channels. And I like, I've tried to do them and they just don't seem to be what you guys wanna see. So I wanna make videos that you guys want to see. And if a video is consistently like my lowest viewed video every single time I post it, that tells me something like, I'm like, okay, well people aren't enjoying these or they're not really helpful. So I wanna make videos that you guys enjoy and that are helping you and that motivate you to um, hit your goals. So if you want me to keep doing Transfer Tuesday videos, let me know. I think this will be really fun for me to do because they will keep me motivated to really hit our goals hard, especially at the end of the year, because I wanna make all of our goals happen. But if you want to go ahead and comment down below any um, transfers you've made in the last week to hit your financial goals, I would love to see them and I will share them in my next video if you want me to. If you don't want me to share them, you can like say, hey, don't share mine. But um, if you put it in a public comment anyway, people are gonna see it. So if you feel comfortable sharing it, I will share it in the next video. But I will see you guys in the next one, bye.